Hey everyone, in this video we are going to learn about that how we can abuse a forgot password functionality to perform account takeovers. Before going into this video, if you haven't checked out the previous video in which I have shown you that uh, how we can manipulate the price of uh, any application uh, as per our choice then I recommend you to check that out and let's get started for this video. Also if you are new to our channel and if you uh, haven't uh, know about our website which is bepractical.tech so here's the link you can check it out we have awesome labs for cyber security as well as web development as you can see over here so all of these labs are based on real world scenarios and right now the cyber security labs are for account takeover vulnerabilities only so you can practice your account takeover skills and uh, yeah you can increase your bug bounty skills uh, from these labs so finally let's get started now the target uh, on which we are going to hack is this particular website so i'm just going to type it out so this is the website in which we are going to perform account takeover through abusing the forgot password functionality. The first thing that you need to do is you need to create your account over here. So I have created my account. So I'm just going to click on login and let me show you that indeed my account is working. So as you can see, I've got successfully redirected to the application. And now what we need to do is we need to perform account takeover. So we need to abuse the forgot password functionality. So I'm going to show you that how we can abuse forgot password functionality so that we can gain account takeovers. Now let's click on login and here let's click on forgot password. Now type the email address. So in this case we have this email address. Click on submit. Uh, okay, it has redirected me again. No worries just going to click on forgot password once again and here i'm going to type my email address click on submit okay so we have reached a limit for sending mail your message was not sent so actually i've tested uh, so many times for this particular email address that's why it is showing me no worries we can just create an account right now suppose uh, i'm going to create an account let's say uh, testing one two three uh one two three Let's say testing, no worries. So in the phone number, let's type any number, random phone number, 62521245, for example. Uh, in email address, we can provide an email address like uh, this one. Let's specify a random password. Okay, so this email is already exist. So what we are going to do, we are going to just hack this email address. So this account we're going to hack. So what we're going to do, we're going to click on login. I'm going to click on forgot password and here we are going to type the email address let's click on submit and over here as you can see it is showing me that otp sent successfully to this email address right and the otp length is four digit so if uh, this particular application is not handling the uh, you know the erase condition so there's a possibility that we can brute force this otp so if this uh, functionality is not implementing some kind of limitation to how many OT wrong OTPs a uh, user can send then there is a possibility that we can uh, you know brute force it because we know the minimum value for the OTP will be 0000 and the maximum can go up to 9999 right so all OTP will lie in this range 0000 and 9999 so I'm just going to log into this account so I'm just going to show you that what was the OTP so Let's wait. So I'm just going to log in. Okay, so as you can see, here is the email user password reset. Let's click on this. So this is our OTP, right? 6201. So as you can see, it is also lying between 0000 and 9999, right? So we are going to see whether this application is using some kind of security implementation to prevent this brute force attack. So now I'm just going to uh, turn on my burp suit from here. Let's turn on the intercept and i'm just gonna forward this i'm just gonna forward all this 
now let's provide any random otp for example let's say one 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 and the password will be like attacker at the rate one two three something like this uh, let's click on submit and let's capture this request over here so as you can see this is the request let me maximize it now what we are going to do we are going to send this to repeater so that we can analyze this uh, request in more detail now let's click on send so as we know that if you provide a, a wrong otp we'll get something like this in the response invalid otp right so what we need to do we need to guess this otp until we get rid of this message invalid otp now let us see what will happen what is uh, what will be the response if we provide the right otp so over here we know the right otp is 6201 right let's provide this 6201 so before that before provi providing the right otp let us uh, try this wrong otp for like 10 to 20 times to ensure that there is no uh, security implementation for uh, brute forcing the otp so just gonna send this multiple times so as you can see it's been around more than 10 requests i've sent but still the application is allowing me to uh, provide the otp so there's a possibility of uh, brute forcing the one-time password right so what we can do now we can just uh, provide the right otp and let's see what will happen just gonna copy this and let's paste it over here and let's see what will happen let's click on send so as you can see it is showing me that password changed successfully right so which means that there is a high possibility that this application is vulnerable to uh, brute forcing the otp right and by brute forcing the one-time password we can just get login into this account so performing account takeover right so let's head back and let's visit this website to see whether we get logged in or something like that so as you can see we got logged into this account right without providing the password now we finally we are going to perform brute force attack because we have confirmed that there is a there is no security implementation on the brute force right just going to click on forgot password let's provide the email address let's click on submit as you can see this is the response let's uh, type any random value one two three four uh, one two four five and the password will be let's say something like this batman at the rate one two three just gonna intercept the response oh, sorry request click on login so this is the uh, you know this is the request right and we are going to perform uh, what you can say we can perform brute force on this particular uh, sorry on this particular uh, let me just change it again so on this particular uh, otp right dz otp email we are going to perform brute force on this now we can also see one thing that if you uh, let me just send this to repeater and what we are going to do we are going to just intercept uh, view the source code of this particular application so if i click on this let's see the form which is sending this data so let us find that form yeah it is a form so this is user email user password forgot password uh, we should be able to find something like dz email right so over here so we should be able to find something like dz otp right dz otp here as you can see so this is the uh, code which is sending request to this particular endpoint which was this particular endpoint as you can see we can confirm it through here right ajax underscore add underscore com dot php and here it is ajax underscore add underscore com dot php right and the data is something like this right and over here you can see different uh, uh, different parameters right which are being passed and here there is one extra parameter dz password right so if you analyze this request closely we can see that there is no extra parameter dz password is not here but it should be uh, here right to change the password basically so from analyzing this code we need to add this dz password into our burp suit 
so that we can change password as per our choice right so i'm just going to close this now let us specify this parameter so dz password i hope this was the parameter right so let us cross check this once again i'm just going to click on view source let's find this dz password yeah so the parameter is right and inside this let us provide our own password so suppose we are going to hack this account so we are going to provide password of our own which we know right so we are going to provide like hacked at the rate one two three something like this now click on send as you can see it is showing invalid otp now we are going to perform brute force so i'm just going to send this to intruder so to perform brute force attack we always need to send this to intruder and after that we need to select the area on which we are going to perform brute force attack so in this case we have this otp parameter right so we are going to guess the otp so we are going to add this and in the we have to head to the payload section and we need to select the payload type to be numbers right because the uh, we are going to guess numbers basically from 0000 to 9999 now 0000 to 9999 is very large number so i'm not going to guess all of it instead what i'm going to do i'm just going to uh, uh, brute force 100 of password so i'm going to brute force 100 password within the otp range and if the application is vulnerable then it is going to send us uh, it is going to change the password on the right otp right so let us see what was the real otp so it was 4475 so what i am going to do i'm just going to start from 4400 so let's say 4400 and i'm going to end it to let's say uh, 4490 and the step will be 1 so now finally we are ready to go let us click on this start attack button and let's see what will happen after that so it is showing that the community edition contains demo version of burp intruder so it is going to uh, be a little slow compared to the burp suit pro edition so burp suit pro edition is very fast compared to this but it is still enough if you want to just show the proof of concept which we are going to do here so click on ok and as you can see it is started right so let us see so as you can see it is guessing each and every otp 4400, 4401, 4402, 4404, right. So I'm just going to click on this so that we can get hold of the last OTP which has been tried. So this was the last OTP, 4420, as you can see. So let us wait till it finds the right OTP, which is in this case was 4475 and if our uh, the, if burp intruder find this otp it will automatically change the password to hack at the rate one two three if vulnerable so let us see what will happen after that So as you can see the response is little bit different over here as you can see all the lengths are same when the invalid password was provided right but when the otp was right the length got changed and if you click on here in the response you can see that it is showing that password changed successfully right which means that we were able to brute force the password brute force the one time password right and now that we have brute forced it our password of this particular account will get changed so i'm just going to close this since we already proved that we were able to brute force i'm just going to discard it now we know the password was that we have provided was hacked at the rate one two three right so let's see whether we'll get logged in using this password so i'm just gonna get rid of this so we are already logged in let's log out and let's try to provide the same credential but the password here we are going to change so hacked at the rate one two three which was the password right so just going to intercept it click on login as you can see it is showing hacked one two three 
so just intercept the response and let's turn off this and let's see what will happen as you can see we successfully got logged in into this account which means that we were able to brute force the one-time password right so i hope you have understood that how we can brute force password to perform uh, account takeovers by abusing the forgot password functionality right so if you guys have any doubts or if you guys have any issues then please let me know in the comment section uh, also join our a telegram community channel where we'll discuss many things related to cyber security or any technology that you like so with that being said thanks for watching